Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chess and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay, which means I go out, I buy things for cheap and then I sell them for a profit. I am going to show you this huge thrift haul that I have, this bag full of items that I got from various Goodwill stores over the course of probably a week and a half to two weeks. Like I said, I am part-time. So I don't have a lot of time to thrift. So when I do, I just get it in when I can. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. Well, I'm just gonna dump everything out into my basket over here. It'll be a lot easier. And then you guys will not have to hear that sound. So let's get started. This was probably one of my favorite finds. It definitely gives off those spring vibes. This is a skirt by the brand J. Crew. It's an older tag. I think those two dots mean it's like the factory. It's in a size 12. But the reason I got this was pretty much based on style, not brand. I love the style. I love the elastic waist. It's a larger size. It's very bright and colorful, which is perfect for the season that we're in. And if I'm not mistaken, this was like a linen or linen blend which is a very good fabric. Yep, it is 55% linen, 45% cotton. And this was from Spring 17 collection. So it's not, not too old. We'll pop the comps over here just so you can see what I am anticipating getting for these. Y'all look, <sighs> I thought this might've been a pocket. I just saw this, it has a flaw. It has a flaw right here in the seam. So I may see if I can get my mother, who knows how to sew, if I can get her to fix these. Because it's on the other side too. That is weird. Okay. I think when I was looking at it, I assumed that it might have been a pocket because it's on both sides. But it is not. It's clearly not a pocket. So that is a bummer. So this is just a reminder when you are thrifting to make sure you look over your items really, really well. Um, I will take this to my mom and see if she can't stitch that up for me. So I will put that over here to the side. Okay, moving on along. I hope I don't find any more flawed items. This is a new to me brand. It's a loungewear brand, Haven well within. These are in a size extra XXL, 100% cotton, and they're just lounge pants, wide leg lounge pants. I think these are more like a cropped fit. And I found two pair in the same size. Both of them are in excellent condition. So hopefully these will do well. They feel very, very soft. So yeah, maybe $30 for these. This is a Madewell long sleeve shirt. This may have been a bad buy because it's just basic Madewell stuff. Sometimes it just sits, but I thought this was cute. It's definitely not this time of year. It's in a brown cream, brown and cream color with this bluish neckline. Very soft. I thought it was really cute. It will be perfect for the fall. And if it doesn't sell, I might keep it for myself. All right, next I have this pair of Athleta joggers in a size six. I believe I have sold these before. Not sure, I have to look back through my inventory and see. But they're joggers, they have this zipper at the end, at the ankle. And I hope to get $30 for these. Next we have, I'm not sure about this either, J. Crew. I think if you have watched my recent video with my March sales, you'll see that J. Crew was one of my top performing brands. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it up here in the card so you can go back and watch that. Um, but J. Crew did really well for me in the month of March. So hopefully that continues this month. This is the J. Crew. It's the newer tag, which is like this cursive. These are a size 27. They are the vintage straight pair of pants, like a chino style pant in this olive green.
green. So maybe I'll get twenty dollars for those. Okay, so next up is this Marmot. Marmo, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. M-A-R-M-O-T. Jacket is like a sweater fleece. It has the logo stitched here on the sleeve and white. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not. I can't decide if I want to keep this for myself, y'all. Like that's part of like the problem when you're thrifting to resale. You see so many things that you want to keep for yourself. So I will probably list this and if it doesn't sell by the time fall comes, then I'll keep it for myself. Hopefully I'll get 30 to 40 dollars for that. Next is this Pearl Azumi. And that's the logo for Pearl Azumi. That is the label. And Pearl Azumi is known for its running attire. This is a, ja a running jacket. And it has like pockets at the back, if you can see those. I think runners or bikers, maybe they put stuff in it, but this has like a zipper at the back and you can put something here. And sometimes they have them where these are like open pockets back here, but these are just, it looks like it's a pocket, but it's not a pocket. Um, and that's the logo at the back. Pearl Azumi is a great brand, definitely something you should be on the lookout for. And I think I should be able to sell this for at least $30. This item I paid, uh, I paid $4.89 for this. Um, and the Marmo jacket, I paid $4.89. Everything else so far in the haul, I paid $3.89, if I hadn't told you already. Okay, next, this may have been a bad buy, I'm not sure. It's Victoria's Secret Sport. These really bright leggings. And I bought these just because they were bright. They were a fun graphic-like pattern. And they're in a size, I think it was a medium. No, nope, in a size small. But they look to be high rise. They're in excellent condition. So maybe $18 for these. And these, I think I paid, my goodness, how much did I pay for these? I think I paid $3.89 for these as well. Next, this, I was about to leave this thrift store because I really wasn't having very much luck. And I decided to look one last time on the rack of shirts. And I found this. And it's kind of tangled up. So let me see if I can't untangle it. But it's a wrap shirt, long sleeve, heathered color. It's like a heathered oatmeal. And let's see, I'm trying to get it right so I can show you guys. So there we go. Here. So I think it's supposed to wrap around. I don't know, this is gonna be kind of difficult. Hopefully I can find a stock photo for this but if you know you know it's one of my favorite brands and i think i have it in one of my every haul that i have let me see if i can't find the logo but it is lulu lemon here it is and i don't know really what made me look at this i think because it was like a wrap and i was like oh that looks kind of interesting so this was Lululemon. It was $3.89 and maybe I'll sell this for $30. We'll see. I can need to check comps. This shirt here is kind of unassuming. Like it looks really basic. Nothing fancy about this shirt. It does have these cutouts. I don't know if you can see them. These little cutouts like at the shoulder area. But it is the brand, and I've never heard of this before, Simply, S-Y-M-P-L-I. This was in a size 12. It's new with tags, and y'all, this retailed for $119.95. It's the Simply Tunic Fit shirt. $119, y'all. Who pays $119? 
Somebody does. So that's it. It's a tunic length shirt and black three quarter length sleeve. It's like a stretchy fabric. Let me see what the fabric content is. If there's a label, it is polyester and spandex. So nothing fancy. But I did look up comps and this seems like it's doing pretty well. So hopefully I'll get at least 40 to $50 for this. Next up is another Lululemon item. And I found this on the same rack as the other Lululemon. That is the Lululemon logo on the zipper. You can see that. And then it also has it here at the back. But this is like a jacket, like a running jacket. If you can see that. It's a stripe, like an oatmeal color. That's the back. And I can't, it doesn't have like the little pull tag with the size on it. So I will have to look to see. Oh, here's a size dot. It's a size eight. So that's a great size. And hopefully I'll get $40 at least for that. I paid $4.89 for that. Next is another Lululemon item. These are a size 10 gray jogger, like with an elastic waist. I love these. These might stay in my closet, to be honest with you. I really like these. I need to try them on. I have lost some weight, so I am working on getting back into a size 10. So we will see. If not, these might be some gold pants, or I may just go ahead and list them and see if I can make 40 to $50 for those. I will put the comps up here for those as well. All right, we're getting to the end. This is another Lululemon item. These are a pair of shorts, like the runner shorts. They have like the little flaps at the back, has a zipper. These are a size 12, so another good size. They're in like this periwinkle gray color with this tie-dye looking. Great pair of shorts, running workout shorts. So hopefully I'll get $25 for those. Next is another brand that I love to sell, and that, that is Bowden. And this Bowden shirt, it's a sweater in a size 8. It's navy blue with this really pretty yellow and white detail around the arms and like the collar. And I want to say, what fabric is this? It's 100% wool. But it's that lightweight wool. This is perfect for the springtime. You could actually transition and wear this into the fall. It matches my headband today, y'all. So super cute. Love this. This would be really cute with a pair of like white pants. I definitely could see that with white pants and then like maybe some pink accessories. That would be really cute. So hopefully I'll get $35 to $40 for that. Next is a brand that I don't really pick up too, too often anymore because it tends to sit for me, but I couldn't resist this. It's the brand Free People, and it is a lace dress, and it's in this pretty cream color, and I thought this might be perfect for like upcoming graduations because a lot of time girls wear white or like cream up under their what do you call it? Their graduation regalia? Um, or their cap and gowns. That's what I'm thinking of. So yeah, I thought this might be pretty good. Crochet is in. That's supposed to be one of the in things. So yeah, hopefully I'll get $35 for this. I paid $4.89. Let's see. Only a few more items, you guys. This is a pair of Liverpool dress pants in a size 12. They have like this subtle, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on camera, this subtle like check, almost like blocks. You can see that, there it is. Really cute. They are, it doesn't really say what this, um, the fit is, but they're like a straight leg 
career leg, career pant. Um, definitely a pro work appropriate now that people are going back into the office. So hopefully 25 to 30 for those. Let's see, what is this? Oh, okay. This brand was new to me recently, but I did find a workout tank by this brand and it sold rather quickly. It's the brand Kindred Bravely and it's a nursing or maternity brand. This is in a size extra large and it's a nursing dress in like a jersey knit fabric. So I definitely think this will do well. It has pockets, it has pockets, and it's so soft, it's so soft. Let me see if it has the fabric content on here. I cannot read it because I do not have all my glasses. It has spandex, oh, bamboo. I think that says bamboo. 99% bamboo, no, 95% bamboo and 5% spandex. Y'all, I should have put my glasses on because I can't see. So soft, I cannot, yeah. Whoever, the new mom that gets this is going to love it. Hopefully she'll pay me 30 to $35 for it at least. I paid $4.89. And last but not least, I'm not sure if this was a good buy or not. It's the brand Flex. It's like a checkerboard, lagging look, shirt, oversized, boxy fit. Definitely not my style, but I have heard lots of YouTube resellers talk about the brand Flex. I've sold some pants before, linen pants by Flex before, but never any shirts. So I thought I would try it out. It was only $3.89, and I believe this is 100% linen. Don't, let me see if I can find the tag. And that is it, you guys. After this, this is the last item. Thank you so much for sticking with me. This is 100% linen. It was made in Lithuania. Yeah. And I think it's a size medium. So yeah, definitely something that other resellers on YouTube said to be on the lookout for. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, I, I think this is a pretty good haul. And I will be back with like a recap in the next maybe 60 days to see how many things in this haul sold. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If this is content that you enjoyed, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you are notified when I have another video released. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. And if nobody told you, I love you and God does too. Take care.